Hi there, this is James Swanick, and you're listening to the Alcohol Free Lifestyle Podcast, where you learn how to take back control over alcohol and live a life of health, wealth, love, and happiness. This is James Swanick. The Alcohol Free Lifestyle Podcast is proudly sponsored by my sleep and peak performance company, Swanick Sleep. If you suffer from average or poor sleep in the night, or you're staring at screens all day on your computer or phone, then block as much of that harmful blue light as possible by wearing a pair of Swannies blue light blocking glasses. I designed Swannies back in 2015, and they've now helped almost 200,000 people sleep and perform better. I like to wear my Swannies in the last hour before I go to sleep at night and while I'm using screens throughout the day. An independent study of people wearing Swannies found that people fell asleep faster, slept deeper, and woke up feeling more refreshed. Daytime wearers of Swannies reported more clarity, focus, and energy. If you'd like to sleep and perform better and get 20% off your pair of Swannies, the best blue light blocking glasses on the market, go to swannies.com slash James and enter the code James at checkout for your 20% off. And if you can't remember that and you're in the US right now and on your cell phone, just text the word Swannies to the number 44222. Again, you can go to swannies.com slash James and enter code James at checkout for 20% off, or you can text the word Swannies to the number 44222 if you're in the US and on your mobile phone right now. The Alcohol Free Lifestyle Podcast is also sponsored by Project 90, the top performance and quit drinking program for six-figure entrepreneurs and professionals. Project 90 helps you feel better, sleep better, and perform better by quitting alcohol. If you know you're drinking too much, if you know that your current drinking habits are compromising your sleep, relationships, health, and your happiness, and you feel ready to finally get your drinking under control by quitting for at least 90 consecutive days and possibly much, much longer, then Project 90 will help you. You'll join a group of other like-minded peak performers whose drinking is currently getting in the way of them performing at their peak. I generate the most success for over 40 entrepreneurs, business owners, top professionals, salespeople, retirees, people who are around that midlife stage in their 40s, 50s, or 60s and have a high-pressured life and want to feel better. If that's you, then you're invited to schedule a free 15-minute strategy session phone call with one of my top quit drinking coaches to see if Project 90 is for you. Now, there's nothing to buy on that free call. It's just an exploratory chat to see if or how we can help you. We'll identify the number one thing holding you back from quitting alcohol and creating the life you want, and we'll build you an action plan to get ultimate power over alcohol so you can feel and perform better in all areas of your life. The call is free and your action plan will be free, and you'll walk away from the call with a plan that you can implement on your own. And if you want our help implementing the plan through accountability and coaching and support, then we can schedule another call to talk about how. If you'd like to go ahead and book that call, you can go to jameswanick.com slash schedule. That's jameswanick.com slash schedule. Or if you're on your phone in the US right now, you can text the word project90 to the number 44222. That's jameswanick.com slash schedule or text the word project90 to the number 44222. Okay, let's get into today's episode. I am James Swanick, and today we are talking to a business owner who has not drunk alcohol since the late 1990s. So what does that make it? Almost uh, 12 years we're coming up now, I think. No, uh, 20, more than that. I was going to say, up. your math sucks. My, my <laughs> math is really <laughs> atrocious. It's 22 years yes. now. Yep. Since he's had a drink, it's a big welcome to Mick Halls. How are you, Mick? Mate, I'm fantastic. I am fantastic. <laughs> I love it. Now, you're clearly a fellow Australian. Mm-hmm. we got a lot of American uh, viewers and listeners here, but you're in Tasmania, which is about the southernmost part uh, of Australia, uh, and you're a, a coach and a business owner, um, and you gave up the booze back in the late 90s. So just tell us a little bit about why you did that and what's happened um, you know, to your life subsequently in terms of performance and health and success. Yeah, sure. Um, funnily enough, it wasn't uh, like one of those things where, you know, I need to stop this. I was actually at a old mate Tony Robbins 
event, unleash the power within and about to, you know, do the firewalk and so forth. And he took us through a process called the Dickens pattern. It's just a visualisation process. But before we started it, he said, you know, what are some of the things you need to choose some things that you would like to change? And I chose a couple of things and then I thought, but I, I want to choose something that is going to be significant, not because I wanted to stop drinking, just because I wanted to test this process um, and see how well his thing worked. And fundamentally, 45 minutes later, going through this visualisation process, uh, I hadn't had a drink drink since. And prior to that, I drank fairly regularly, you know, and, and probably binged uh, uh, from time to time. But I sort of would have a glass of wine with dinner, which ended up being a bottle sometimes and all of that sort of stuff. Uh, but sometimes I would go with a week or two weeks and not drink at all. But you know, I always went back to it and definitely when I was in the environment with it, with other people drinking, I'd definitely, you know, join in. Um, but I can honestly say to you that accidental decision was probably the best decision I've made in a long, long time for very many reasons. Yeah, well, w- first of all, before I ask you what those many reasons are, what was the impact that you identified your drinking was having on your life right up to that point where you chose to to quit? Um, I, at that point, honestly, I don't think I had identified it. I didn't identify it until down the track after I changed the behaviour. When I was drinking, I didn't I didn't think that it was making any difference at all. That that's you know, that was my experience because it was like. As soon as I stopped, shortly after I stopped, I, I really started to feel a lot better and I thought, oh, well, that, that's good. Um, but then, you know, really started to notice the difference in clarity, in thinking, in sleeping, um, in weight loss and, and just general energy and things like that. And then that, I think, contributes significantly just to behaviour and decisions and it certainly was one of the best things I've ever done in retrospect, um, for for business and and business success for sure. What business were you in back then, and then what businesses or business have you been in since then as well? And how have those businesses been impacted by your decision to be alcohol free all this time? Uh, it it was kind of the the same business, although right now you know Builders Business Black Belt specialises in. Um, custom home building businesses, the owners of those businesses, generally run by a husband and wife team. But back then when when I um, stopped, I was just a general small business coach. Um, and I'm, I'm actually thinking about one of my first building clients back then. Um, he was a client, became a friend, and we used to go out drinking together and all of that sort of stuff. Uh, and I found that the example that I can set, the energy that I can bring, the clarity I can bring to conversations has profoundly helped the people that I work with um, compared to back then. You know, I can, I've just got more energy and I think that, and this is just my opinion, I think if, if you're going to be coaching people, it's it's pretty important to lead by example in, in as many ways as you possibly can as well. And, and if I'm helping someone to improve their business, I think I need to be implementing as many of the things that I think I can uh, to lead from the front. Yeah. Of course, when you remove what I refer to as attractively packaged poison mm. from your life, because that's what alcohol is, it's attractively packaged poison, you sleep better. Uh, you have more clarity, more focus, more energy. You have more peace. You're more, uh, you're more calm um, because you're sleeping better and you've got all of those things. You're creating more energy. You're making better strategic choices in your business or in your job or in your life. You're less irritable. You're less likely to snap at your husband or your wife or your kids. Um, how did the quality of your relationships um, shift um, from, from before when you were drinking to after when you weren't? Um, well, I, I think, you know, I give my wife the shits now <laughs> <laughs> with, with certain things. But uh, back then I, I think that it, I might have been an absolute nightmare to, to live with when I was drinking um, just because 
and, and I, I really realise that now because I still hang around with all my mates who still drink and all of that sort of stuff and, and we're having a great conversation and then they have a few beers and then they have a few more and what they start to talk about and what they think is funny, just it changes before your eyes. And I remember thinking I was really funny back then, you know, doing stupid things, um, maybe saying things that you'd regret or were embarrassed about when you found out what you said. But, you know, uh, I, I really enjoy now being clear and and I can really own my choices and what I say and how I treat people and because there's nothing influencing me. And, you know, rightly or wrongly, I think it, it's um, – it's a cop out when somebody says, you know, they've done something silly or something wrong, um, and they blame, oh, but he was drunk. Well, it was like, but dude, no one held a gun to your head and and made you lose your your ability uh, to to judge, you know, informatively and and make better decisions. Like no one made you drink. I don't think it's a fair reason for poor behaviour or, or bad decisions because you were drunk. Um, what, when your friends today, or whether it be clients or prospects or colleagues or whoever it is, um, are drinking and you're not, um, do they still encourage you to have a drink? Uh, if they do, how do you respond? And if they don't, why aren't they encouraging you to have a drink? And, and what are some of the thoughts or comments that they might raise with you? Um, now, and for a long time, no one has particularly friends, they, they don't, um, you know, try and encourage me to drink because it's been so long. Uh, they've, they've accepted it. Many of them really respect it. People have come to me and asked for, you know, help to, to reduce or cut down or, or stop themselves. Um, but the, you know, the comments that they make, particularly if I've only just met somebody and they say, you know, would you like a drink? And I say, oh, well, no, I don't drink. Um, Sometimes they ask the question why, and I just say, "Hey, I, j- I just decided to. I haven't, I haven't had a drink for like twenty odd years, whatever it is, and I've got such a great unbroken run now. It'd be a shame to break it, you know." And it's a kind of a light-hearted approach, and they go, "Hmm, that makes sense." End of story. Um, but it's never really a big conversation thing anymore. Like it was right at the beginning with the guys that I used to hang around with. I stopped. They didn't. I was still in that environment. And, yes, there was a little bit of, you know, come on, one won't hurt and all of that sort of stuff. But I stuck to my guns and it was pretty easy. It was, you know, going through that Tony Robbins thing, I found it quite quite easy. Um, and I think just by being consistent and, and not getting into a big thing about it, just saying, hey, you know, I just chose not to, it's no big deal, I do feel better uh, and I want to keep it going, people go, oh, okay, and off you go. So it's, it's not really a big deal. Yeah. Um, just finally, have you seen a transformation in any of your your clients? And maybe just take this opportunity to tell us a little bit more about your business and how you help people and where people people listening or watching can get a hold of you. But I'm curious as to whether you've um, inspired any of your clients or friends or, or anyone in your circle, um, quite frankly, to either reduce or quit alcohol and what has been the impact you've seen? Um, well, that was a very long question. <laughs> Where do I start? I want you to so, answer all, every single part okay, of it right now. <laughs> I will. I promise. Uh, so business is Builders Business Black Belt. Um, and as I said, you know, we're, we're business coaches for husband and wife run custom home building businesses. Uh, there have been a number of people um, in our coaching program who have really cut back uh, and some have stopped. The most memorable one uh, was actually my daughter, I guess, uh, you've met her. She came to uh, one of Taki's intensives. Now she's a um, a diet, health, weight loss coach, um, and I used to have conversations with her. You know, you're, you're encouraging people about health and this, that, and the other. Uh, yet you'll go out and get on the gas on a Friday night with your friends and all of that sort of stuff. I, I'm confused. How does that work? And she had all of the rationalisations. You know. You've got to relax and you've got to let your hair down and da 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 um, And then she went and did a whole bunch of research about there really are no redeeming factors and, um, you know, 
we, we can talk about the poor decisions as we've already done, but from a health point of view also, and, and it, for what it's worth, the, the, the explanation that really clarified it for me was somebody said, hey, remember when you used to go to the barber? And I'm old enough to remember when <laughs> I used to go to the barber and I had some of this stuff so it was worthwhile back then. Um, and they said they used to dip the combs in that blue jar, you know, and I go, yep, yep. And they said, well, that's kind of alcohol and that they put the, the combs and stuff in their scissors to sterilise them. And they basically said when you're drinking, what that sort of that alcohol is going into your system and it's getting rid of a whole lot of necessary bacteria for good gut health which is fundamentally the foundation of all of your where your health starts with uh, immune system and all of that sort of stuff, and and you're you're you you're um, reducing the efficiency of that because you're putting this stuff that they used to sterilise combs and scissors <laughs> in your stomach. Now it's not quite exactly like that, but just the whole story made sense to me, and I thought, well, yeah, another good reason. But um, you know, my daughter Madison. She hasn't had a drink for well over a, a year now and if you ask her about it, it would be great to get her and, and talk to her about it on, on, your, on your podcast because um, she's gone right into the nitty-gritty of it and in, in the 12 months she has noticed massive changes just in how easy it is to keep the weight off, how much more energy she's got, how much better a, an example she is for her clients. There's, there's a lot of good um, that... Uh, She's experienced from it and, and, you know, not missing out on anything at all. I don't feel like I miss out on anything. No, me neither. Thanks, Mick. Um, where can our listener or viewer um, get in contact with you if they want to be interested about your coaching business or even if they wanted to maybe shoot you a message and ask you a question about being 22 years alcohol-free now? Absolutely. Um, you can find me on Facebook, so it's just Mick Hawes on, on Facebook. The business is called Builders Business Black Belt. Dot com dot au, uh, and if you want to send me an email um, and, and ask me any questions about the, the drinking thing or anything like that, it's just mick at buildersbusinessblackbelt.com.au, which is probably going on for the longest URL yeah. for a business he could have. It's a real pain in the butt. <laughs> well, you've, won, you, you've also won the award for the most words on your T-shirt um, there because you've got business builders. business. Oh, there you go. you got stuff on your back as well. If you're just listening to the audio version of this and not watching the video version on YouTube right now, then um, Mick and I are both wearing shirts with our names across the front because we're so vain that we just love to have our names everywhere. Um, <laughs> Mick, <laughs> Mick Halls, thank you so much, mate. Congratulations on your 22 years um, alcohol-free. I know you don't really think about it anymore, but congratulations anymore, uh, anyway. And thanks for giving us some of your, your guidance um, on the call just to, uh, on this um, interview. Just a reminder, if you are listening and, you do, uh, and you're a business owner or you're an entrepreneur or, and you're really looking for a performance upgrade, quitting alcohol is certainly um, probably, in my opinion, the best performance upgrade tactic that you can use if you, indeed you are drinking more than what you probably think you should. Um, you can, uh, if you're not yet uh, on my email list, you can go to jameswanick.com slash guide. Uh, where I will send you my blueprint for quitting alcohol, but most importantly, staying quit uh, from alcohol. And if you want to just have a free 15-minute exploratory call with one of my coaches, um, then you can go to jameswanick.com slash schedule. And one of, by the way, all of my coaches are former clients of mine. So they're people who um, actually went into my one of my programs uh, got alcohol free and uh, are now more than a year alcohol free and are now uh, helping uh, other entrepreneurs and business owners um, do the same. Uh, Mick, thanks again, mate. And uh, I look forward to catching up with you soon. Mate, it's been a pleasure. Uh, you're doing great stuff. Please keep it up. Thank you, sir. Thanks for listening to the Alcohol Free Lifestyle Podcast. I want to load you up with some free stuff right now. So if you want to go to jameswanick.com slash guide, I will send you my Quit Alcohol Guide, which has helped six-figure entrepreneurs and top professionals reduce or quit drinking. You can also text the word quit guide to the number 44222 if you're in the US, of course. It doesn't really work anywhere outside of the US. But if you're in the US on your mobile phone and you'd like that guide, text the word quit guide to the number 44222 or you can go to jameswanick.com slash guide. 
If you'd like to schedule a free 15-minute call with one of my top coaches, just an exploratory call to see if or how we can help you, then you can go to jameswanick.com slash schedule, or you can text the word PROJECT90 to the number 44222 if you're listening in the US on a mobile phone. That's jameswanick.com slash schedule, or you can text the word PROJECT90, that's one word, PROJECT90, to the number 44222. Feel free to send me a direct message over on my Instagram account, which is at James Swanick. You can also watch video episodes of this podcast and a series of other educational videos on my YouTube channel, which is James Swanick One, or you can direct message me on Facebook at James Swanick Official. And finally, a request. Would you please now write a short review of the podcast inside of the Apple Podcast app on your phone or on iTunes on your desktop? Computer. Would you please give the show five stars and write a quick one or two sentence review? This will help the show get in front of even more listeners, potentially transforming someone's life. You can rate and review the show inside of your Apple podcast app on your phone or over on iTunes on your desktop. Thank you so much and I'll catch you next time.